This is a post-process gauge built by Schaefer Technology. Uh, this gauge checks knuckles. Um, this, this particular part, we're going to check the ID in one place. We have opposing probes on our gauge head. Uh, we have a right and a left-handed part. We have two proxes that will determine a right or a left-handed part. Uh, our probes are hidden behind these two guards. We have a switch, I mean a cylinder, that will come out if it's a reject part so that we can hold the part in place. Somebody will have to come by, a technician will come by and, and uh, he'll reset it and take the part out. And also this particular gauge also has masters. On this one it has a min, it's a mean master and it's, uh, it has a step in it so that you can just rotate it and you line the color up, red and green, you line the color up to do the min and the max. When you master, it's very easy to master. This gauge also uses HGS 2000 gauging software. It's very simple to work compared to most software. All you need is this little panel right here. You have an enter to go forward. You have escape to come back. It's a Windows based program. And you have a joystick to toggle it up or down. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to run a part. We'll go into auto mode. There will be no interface. Usually we can interface with another machine to keep that machine on track to produce good parts. Um, we also have the key switch for the good, good part, bad part. Um, right now, we're just going to take and put this in the column display. So you would like to get your toggle, toggle the bar where you want it to. You hit enter. Column display, which is what we want. We hit enter. It's that easy on the software. Very user friendly. We're going to take a part. We're going to load it over the gauge post. Then cycle. We hit two palm buttons to take the start the gauge and cycle. Okay. We just gauged this part. The graph shows red, it means reject. Uh, this graph can be yellow for caution, it's going out of tolerance, or green, good part, doing really good. As you can see, the reject cylinder extended so that you cannot take this part out. In order to get it out, the technician would come over, hit reset, take it out, verify what's going on with the part so that he can make sure that the lathe is doing what it's supposed to do. After that, everything's good. Now we're going to run parts again. Everything's up online. We're going to pick up a new part and bring it over to gauge it. Put it in the load. Hit our cycle start. As you can see, this part is green. Valid part, good. This is a Shaper Technology post-process gauge. It is extremely user-friendly. It incorporates Hughes engineering software. Thank you very much.